Hey guys, Connor here at eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Kurt Custom Class 3 Trailer Hitch for our 2016 Lincoln MKT. As we can see here with our Kurt Class 3 Trailer Hitch, we are able to see both the receiver tube and the crossbar from behind the vehicle. However, the Kurt Hitch has a really nice finish so it's not going to take away too much from the look of the vehicle. And as we can see here also, the receiver tube portion is recessed behind the bumper here a few inches, so it's not going to create any issues with our bike racks, cargo carriers, or any other things we want to do with the hitch. Now in addition to bike racks and cargo carriers, we can also use our Kirk Class 3 hitch to tow small to light medium duty trailers. As we can see here, we have a hitch pin hole on the side, which it takes a 5 inch diameter hitch pin, and we also have two large safety chain loops here. Now these safety chain loops will accept the smaller S-type hooks, as we can see here, as well as the larger clevis hooks. Now the Kurt Class 3 hitch is rated for 4,000 pounds of gross trailer weight, and it's also rated for 400 pounds of tongue weight. We also want to take a look here at the sticker. We can see that the Kurt Class 3 hitch is rated for weight distribution system as well, so we will be able to implement one of those systems. Now I'd like to give you a few measurements that are going to help with choosing your hitch mounted accessories. If we measure from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, we're going to get around 13 and a half inches. Now this is going to be useful when we're picking out our ball mount. The next measurement we're going to take is from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outer edge of the bumper, and for that we're going to get around 7 and a half inches. This is going to be helpful when choosing hitch mounted accessories such as cargo carriers and bike racks so that we make sure we have clearance when they're folded up. The Kurt trailer hitch here for our Lincoln MKT is going to be pretty easy to install. There's no cutting or drilling required whatsoever. The only thing you're going to need are some basic tools, 18 and 19 millimeter sockets in particular, and if you also have a close friend nearby that will give you an extra set of hands, that will be very helpful as well. Then let's jump right into today's install and show you how it's done. To start our install today, we're going to come to our back of our vehicle here, and the first step is going to be to lower the exhaust. Now we have to lower the exhaust because this is going to allow us to position our hitch. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to take a jack stand or we can take a ratchet strap which we have on hand here and we're going to place these just wherever we can to support the hitch here. I'm going to use the two holes in the rear control arms here. So we're going to put those in there and we're just going to tighten our ratchet strap up here a little bit. That way it can support the exhaust once we remove the isolators in the next step. The next step we're going to need to do is remove the four rubber isolators from the vehicle. As we can see here, we have two at the rear, right behind the axle, and then we also have two more here right behind the rear bumper fascia. Now to make these a little bit easier to remove, we can go ahead and take our general purpose lubricant right here and give those a good spray. We're going to do this on both sides. We can go ahead and take an exhaust hanger removal tool or we can just use a pry bar we have laying around. What we're going to do is we're going to wedge that here in between the hanger and then we should be able to use that to pop our isolator loose. And there we have one free. Now our rear isolator here is going to give us a little bit of trouble to remove because we just don't have a lot of space to work with here. So we're going to again want to take our pry tool in here. And as we're prying back, we're going to go ahead and grab our isolator up here and just work it off a little bit. This is going to help us remove it. Now once we have all the isolators removed, that's going to go ahead and free up some slack in our exhaust here so we can get to these uh, exhaust hanger brackets that are on the back side of the frame here. Now for our particular MKT, there are hangers on the left and right hand side. In order to remove these, we're going to want to grab our 18 millimeter socket here. Once these two bolts are gone, this is going to free up our bracket here. And we're going to need to do that on the other side as well, and then we can move on to the next step. Now the next part of our process is going to be a little difficult, so we're going to want to make sure we have a friend nearby to help us with this. Keep in mind, when we're installing the exhaust hanger bracket, this is going to be installed over the hitch, and we're also going to want to use the bolt that came with our kit, and that's going to go sandwich the hitch to the frame rail, and then that's going to be installed in the weld nut inside the frame. Now that we have an extra set of hands here, we can go ahead and raise the hitch up and position it into place on the vehicle. Now you may have a little bit of issue here with the exhaust, but that's fine. Just make sure you can lower the exhaust a little bit, wiggle it in on one side, make sure we have our bracket here, sandwich that, 
And we also want to make sure with our bolt here that we have the conical tooth washer facing the back side of the bracket. Now once we have everything hand tight, we're going to go ahead here and snug up the bolts to the frame. Now we're going to take our torque wrench here and we're going to go back and torque all these fasteners to supplied values in the owner's manual. Once we hear a beep, we know it's torqued down the spec. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that on the other three bolts. Now as you can see here, we don't have a lot of room between the hitch and the exhaust hanger to slide our isolator back on. So what I recommend doing is coming down here to the exhaust muffler. We're going to go ahead and spray the other side of this isolator. And then we're going to try to work this loose so we can install it on this hanger first and then slide the hanger from the muffler onto the isolator. And this just gives us a little bit more room to work and we're not fighting with the exhaust as much. And we can go ahead and take the hanger bracket here for the lower suction and push that into the isolator until it passes the knob on the outside. We're going to repeat that there in the back as well as the other two. Now that we have the hitch bolted up and our four rubber isolators all in place, we can go ahead and remove our security strap here at the rear. And that's going to do it here today for the Kurt Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch for our 2016 Lincoln MKT.